I witnessed my friends being crushed at Itaewon. It was my friend's 24th birthday in 12 days. I was there when she said she couldn't breathe. And I grabbed one of my friend's hands. Two of them are in critical conditions and one of them has unfortunately passed away. There was no stampede. It was a slow and agonizing crush. This crush was not caused by drunk people. It is a lack of planning, police force, and emergency services, and nobody was willing to help. I watched as people filmed and sang and laughed while my friends were dying, along with many other people. I was there trying to pull people out because there was not enough police officers, and nobody was doing anything to make the crowd stop. We were yelling, we were saying, you have to go back, you have to turn around. People are dying, but nobody was listening. I waited 30 minutes for the police to arrive where I was. Took over an hour for more police to arrive and even longer for emergency services. This is how long it took to free my friends. Two of my friends thankfully survived, but many, many others did not. There were people lying on the ground getting CPR, not by health professionals, by random people, whoever could. I am sad, I am devastated at the situation, which could have so easily been avoided. But nobody would listen. I only just got home after hours and hours of searching for my dead friend's body and my other friends that were seriously injured. The police did not even help me. There were some extremely kind-hearted reporters from ABC which were able to help me reconnect with my friend. Nobody else was helping, no authorities, no police. My friends were being crushed in front of me and I couldn't do anything about it. You know how many people were going to that event? Why were you not prepared? I mean to hear the victims and their families. Maybe some of you guys already heard about the accident in Korea, what happened like um, for the Halloween festival, almost 145 people were killed and 100 people get injured. First of all, I am South Korean, I'm living in Germany, but even though I was not there, but I am really traumatized because of, by all the videos and photos on Instagram. Also, my friends sent me because most of my friends were in Itaewon tonight because Itaewon is the town I used to go every weekend. Luckily, all of my friends and the family are fine because my younger brother, he also supposed to go tonight. Anyway, I just want to explain you guys how could it happen with the map of Itaewon and then I will explain you everything. Before I start this video, I really pray all of them rest in peace of the people who were killed. So Korea began to um, celebrate the Halloween about six and seven years ago. So really suddenly, it was really suddenly and it all happened in Itaewon actually. Every year on Halloween in Itaewon, it was overcrowded every year. This picture is from the day when accident happened, but you can believe me, it was actually like every year like this, like really a lot of people crowded. Okay, so this is the Itaewon map, and then this is subway line, and then this is the street where people are celebrating Halloween mostly, and then this point is where accident happened. So as you can see, because normally people are on this street to celebrate the Halloween because there's so many bars and clubs over here, and then this is the Hamilton Hotel. People who came from the subway station, they are using this route to reach out to this place, this street. And then people also coming from here, and then people also coming from here. So that's why it's overcrowded so much. As people crowded like this, this place must have become tight, no longer being able to come in or go out. I don't know actually what happened exactly, but as, in my opinion, as one person fell, the people began to feel like dominoes. I will not show you any videos or photos of that because I think this is really disrespectful for the people who were killed but you can find on Twitter or Instagram so yeah but it's quite shocking video so if you are not ready for that then I recommend you don't watch it well I'm really speechless right now because it could be me who got that accident and most of the 
people who were killed are twenties or my ages, and I cannot. I don't know. I feel so sorry and feel so sad and bad. I really pray rest in peace all of them and hope people who get injured, they could get really well as soon as possible. Anyway, thank you so much for watching video.